Hi, welcome to episode 9. We're down here at Wilson's Promontory, or more locally known as Wilson's Prom. Looking forward to doing some hikes and hopefully we're going to spot a wombat. Yeah, we're right down at the southernmost point now of um, Australia. We're not going to get to it, but uh, it's on Wilson's Prom. You can hike down to it and the very bottom of this big country, if you exclude Tasmania. Anyway, enjoy the episode. Just a little look out here. Pretty good. Just on our way to Tidal River. And then what we spotted here is some wombat poo. Definite wombat poos. They're meant to be around here. That's what wombat poo looks like. Square big blobs. So there's wombats in here somewhere. As I just said at the visit centre, this confirms it. Square bits of wombat poo. Small around bits. The kangaroo. And then the complete mess is an emu. Just heading off now from Telegraph Saddle up the Mount Oberon summit. Pretty good path so far. About halfway in. Nice long gravel, wide gravel path. Pretty good through all the forest. This is the final sort of kilometre up through the side of this rock face. Are you doing a sort of Via Ferrata or something? Pretty good. Nasty little finish. Been a steady gradient the whole way up. Now a bit steeper at the finish. It's gonna be good views though. Ooh. It's going to get windy. Here's the summit. Whoa, whoa. Good. 45 minutes up. I managed to miss the bus. I got the timings wrong. They do a there's a bus takes you up every half an hour and they have a break in the afternoon I never realised until I was on my way down. So I ran down to try and get to the bus but it was never going to happen. I was in dreamland but so I just missed it. So I've just done the walk down the road instead which is alright. It's pretty nice. You can see a few different views. That's the, the summit up there where I've just been. It just extends the walk a bit. It's quite nice to be honest. Um, but yeah I'm trying to get back in time so we can swap over with Tam because we're in the national park. So obviously uh, we've got Lulu here, so we can't leave her on our own. Um, and yeah, so I'm trying to get down so Tam can get the, the last bus up so she can get the walk done before um, before it goes dark today. So yeah, all good. Sun's shining, rain stopped that we had this morning. So that's good. I'm back down at camp now. Tam is having a go now up the climb. So that's it up there. So that's the summit right at the top. You do get a bus sort of 3k up and then walk the three and a half k to the top. But it's pretty good. And then this is our camp for tonight in the National Park. So just at Wilson's Prom. And this is us set up. You can hear the beach probably in the background which is just over the back. Our first one back of the trip. Just so special seeing one in the wild, so close. Just chomping away, yum yum yum, dinner time. We came up 
came across this one literally just walking back to the caravan in the middle of the caravan site the campground and he's just wandering along mowing up the lawn it's so cool you get proper close to them as well it's so sort of used to people being around size they're pretty big of these things really we um, we measured it to about three or four lulus we think they're really super furry look like you could have a real good cuddle we want but some massive claws and teeth so you definitely won't want to upset him pretty chill So I've just come back from having a nice hot shower um, we're at the national park and I was just getting my clothes ready and then I looked out of the caravan window only to see another one back how cool is that no not Dave Dave's gonna just say hi to it he was just there munching away just amazing This is the little wombat. Well, I say little, I'm pretty big actually. Right outside our caravan. So this is us literally parked up here at Tidal River. And this is the wombat. <laughs> Absolutely amazing and not bothered by people at all. Must be so used to them. How cute is that? Oh, it looks so furry and cuddly. Amazing. Just munching away. A massive comeback suddenly on the Romeo Trail. Oh Tammy's God. not Can amused. Can we make a video because you've won <laughs> once in like forever? Yeah, my What's score's score? not very good. Yeah, oh, exactly. At focus. You can't even see. Currently, Tammy's got a lead of 148, which is pretty impressive. But I've just recouped a few. What have you got? I don't know. I'm counting them up. Count them up. Yeah. They're cute. You can stop now. What's your score? 59, but I'm 59. still winning. 59. I'm still winning. She's still got a monster lead, You're but... Idiot. Oops. Oh, well played. What's the score? <sighs> 13 left. <laughs> That's nice when it's the other way around, is it? 13. What's the scores? Um, 263 to you, 260, 361 to me. Yay, I'm winning by nearly 100. Yeah, well done. So early hours of the morning, had to go and do the toilet run and looked up to see this big black bushy tail and it was a mountain brush tail possum. Really cute. I know that. Well. This is Squeaky Beach. Beautiful, look at that. Even on a cloudy day, blue sky day, it'd be amazing. That's pretty nice. Beautiful white sand. these orangey rocks as well which is pretty cool all the way around really nice sand though really white beautiful long beach really good on blue sky day this would just be gorgeous look at these it's pretty cool i don't know what 
course is that? That's pretty good. Nice spot. Just a bit further along now, we've got Big Bay. It's beautiful, this one. Really nice. Here's a good look out. Got Picnic Bay down to the left. Got Whiskey Bay over to the right. Gorgeous place it is here. Really nice, well worth a visit. Stunning place. And then out to sea there, Tasmania, somewhere in the distance. Biggest seagull ever here. Massive. Tam, watch out. It's coming right to the door. He's a big bugger. You're not having my bacon. God, they're just not worried about people at all, the wildlife here. Just not concerned. down from the campsite here literally just walking out of the campsite you get down to Norman Beach where loads of people are surfing it's gonna be freezing <laughs> but they're all in wetsuits all having a good surf yeah this is Norman Beach hiking again today doing Mount Bishop but um doing Lily Pilly on the way so there's a track called Lily Pilly Gully on the way to Mount Bishop it's really nice just hit this boardwalk section beautiful little stream flowing through nice boardwalk and ferns really nice little spot so yeah pretty good one of those days today where it's just Constantly coming through with rain fronts. So, you see it out there. Oh, you can't see it out there. <laughs> it's just come down again now. I'm in mean, pretty good tree coverage, so it's not too bad. So, I'm sort of hoping I don't come out into the open. Otherwise, it'd be pretty wet. But yeah, just hoping it blows through before I get to the summit, so I've got a bit of a view. But well, we'll see how it goes. This is near the summit here of Mount Bishop. It's been pretty shelled the whole way up, but it's a bit exposed now. Pretty windy at the top, but it's a view. Oh, squeaky bits down there. Other way around, just so I can get out through the mist and rain. That's Mount Oberon there, which I was up yesterday. Oh, that's squeaky bay. It's beautiful now. Oh, I've got to have the perfect sun. What a blue. Just out on the tidal river from campsite today. Beautiful through here. It's just a gorgeous spot. Mount Oberon there overlooking us. I love that rock face there with the sun on it. Looks great. But a nice windy bit of river, it's really good. Different view all the time. Great reflections. It's really nice today. Enjoying it, Tam? Yep. And then there's Mount Bishop, yeah. Yep. Tam's just been up that this morning. <laughs> Incredible. That is stunning. <laughs> it's kind of like hard to see. Quite messes with your eyes. Yeah. Wicked. <laughs>
thanks for watching this episode. We've really loved it here at Wilson's Prom. Highly recommend it. It's one of our top favourites. See you next time.